Okay. So, a couple things here. We're gonna upgrade this thing right here. It's gonna increase the dodge window. We're gonna upgrade this one. We're just gonna make takedowns a lot easier. I wish this was how God of War was. And look, there are suit mods, apparently. Oh. Forgot about these. It makes life easier. Let's not... Wait, do we want to put on a different suit, though? Oh. We could. I want to be the Fantastic Four guy with the, with the bag over his head. Bombastic Bagman suit? Wait, that's what it's called? Yeah. We're this... Bombastic Bagman. Perfect. Oh, God. I am the knight. Wow. That was perfect. Wait, were you gonna... Wait, so if you put suit mods on, does that affect the spe only the specific suit that you're wearing? Like... Uh, no. I think okay. it's just like a general... I don't care about Sable camps. Come on. Yeah, Sable is a... Oops, I'm in Not prison. priority. To Sableize it? Ha! <laughs> hey, there's a helicopter. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Okay, time to stabilize the city. What am I supposed to do? Oh god, there are enemies on every rooftop almost. Just on the rooftops? Yeah. Because all Take the prisoners out. got out, apparently. How? Oh, because Doc Ock is Cause he's ruining evil. everything! Oh, jeez. I guess I could take out a couple sniper rifles. Just the sniper rifles, not the people. Yeah, no. If you get rid of the guns, the people are no longer a problem. Yeah, it's relatively true. At least for Spider-Man. And being shot with a sniper rifle point blank is no fun. Ah. She's coughing up blood. Point. Yeah. Ooh. I love the That's arms. That's kind of terrifying. Thank you, spite of me. <laughs> I, I wish it was updated to the, um... It'd be asking a lot, but updated to the costume you're wearing. That would be crazy. Yeah, that would be. What just happened? Are People shot me. Or they tried to. Ha! I'm too good for that. Yeah, yeah, You see how I blend into the darkness? Yeah, I can't even tell what's going on right now. It looks sometimes like you were just straight up invisible. That's this bag's ability. Yeah. And by bag, I mean... Outfit. When they can't tell who you are, you're invisible. Because beforehand, they could tell who you were. Yeah. It was very story. obvious that the bone structure was exclusively that of Peter Parker. Mm -hmm. I mean, he has a very distinguishable jaw. Wow, well, the streets really are just a mess. Okay. Whoa, dude! Ah. <laughs> Jesus. Man. Was uh, that part of, there's like, Sonic Naruto running. running. Uh, yeah, sorry. Did you say Sonic? Yeah, why not? He runs stupid, too. He does. Oh, he does kind of Naruto run, doesn't he, sometimes? Yeah. yeah. He doesn't bend his elbows. He's running around at the feet at the speed of sound. At the feet of... At the feet of pound. Yeah. <laughs> He's just like Stomp. You remember Stomp? I don't know what you're talking about. That that percussion group that used oh yeah brushes or whatever. Oh, I thought they just stomped. No, they used everything. Nice. I'm a percussion group now. Wow. What are you gonna call your percussion group? Smack. Smack. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, not to be confused with some like lingo for uh, oh, yeah, drugs or nothing. Oh. You can call me Smack. <laughs> People keep going to the, like, they see smack on the billboards, and they're like, okay. <laughs> what, what is smack? What drug uh, is that? I couldn't tell you, but I could tell you it's a drug. Yeah, I don't. Oh, my. Okay, start. My cat just fell. I don't know. Kitty, where are you? Blink like once if fell? you're okay. He's not... <laughs> He's not trying to get out, so. Is it bad that I'm just continuing to play this game? Well, uh, hey audience, how's it going? Uh, it's just you and me right now. Um, how's it going? I'm uh, playing Spider-Man and uh, not looking for a cat. Terry is definitely looking for a cat right now, though. Where is my cat? 
You can kind of hear her in the background. Where is my cat? <laughs> I feel like he fell in the... I can't find him. Well, oh, there he is. He didn't fall at all. He's just sitting there? He's laying in the dog bed. Something must have fallen off the oh. win window sill that I just didn't... I thought it was my cat. Because it's like, right when it fell, I heard his bell. Yeah. Wow. What am I? The moon? I guess go to Which the closer one? one. That one? No. I can do math. <laughs> it's not even math. It's just... Oh, I guess it is math. I was going to say, I guess the... In Which number is bigger, 19 or 17? I guess, it, like, in, in my well, mind for a second got there, more letters. I, just, I felt so, like, the concept that that number was bigger was so oh, innate well. that it didn't feel like it was math. Oh, I know. It's because it... That's how it should feel. Dude, the weather's been so nice. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. It's such a change of pace. It also kind of came out of nowhere. Right. Two weeks ago, it snowed. Yeah. And now it's 70. pushing 75 degrees. Yeah, it was, it was 75 on Monday. Yeah. I was outside on Monday yeah, for so three hours. I walked to Shopco. Nice. I did a thing. Oh, wait, were, were you doing your band stuff? Yeah. How's that going? It's all right. It's good. We had a competition. We got first place. Good job. Well, I mean, yeah. you didn't. <laughs> I'm part of the staff, so it's me. <laughs> Avengers. Assemble. Roar. Wow. Avengers. Look at this light show that's going on right here. Yeah, Electra's going at it. I'm Zappy Boy. What is that? Is that Feast? I mean, is that Devil's Breath? I don't know what I'm saying. I, no, I think the one tube was all of Devil's Breath. Oh, here we come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're Transformers. The robots in disguise. Oh, yeah. I figured I would have to do that. I wish... The Transformers oh, wow. franchise hadn't just like gone so far downhill. I thought it went downhill at the first episode. Are you Movie. Talk yeah, I was gonna say like, what are we? Are you are you talking about the show? Which one? Like. <laughs> no, I'm definitely talking about the movie. I mean, uh, it's a Michael Bay movie, so. Yeah, Michael Bay is not. <sighs> He's good. He's not known for thought provoking uh, work. Yeah. I feel like the first movie I feel like wasn't that bad. I feel like it did the concept of Transformers really well. Oh. Seeing that brought to the screen was cool. Yeah. But then, like, they just had... I don't know why movie franchises do this, but they just decide that they need to make way too many movies. Yeah. I know well, it's, it they're makes trying money. to capitalize on the money, but I feel like the, they a lot of times they end up just ruining, like, their brand. Like, Transformers was huge when they came with, after the first movie, but I feel like they kept making them, and now people yeah. don't think that the franchise is great. Same thing kind of happened with Pirates of the Caribbean, where it's like they kept making movies and now people don't really like respect the franchise. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, it makes money, but I feel like, ugh, I guess that's all they care now about. Now when people say, hey, I saw uh, Pirates 5, they're like, there's a fifth Pirates movie? Uh-huh. That's what I was like. Yeah, I'll probably be like... And I even saw it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, I want to see Pokemon movie. Which one? The the De Detective Pikachu. The one that doesn't have Danny DeVito in it? What is there one that has Danny DeVito no. in it? <laughs> like what are you talking about? <laughs> Some of these rooftops are really nice. Oh yeah. Type of place I'd like to live. For sure. I would love to live here. Ah uh, I mean I wouldn't love to live in Manhattan, but I would like to live it I like What what about this doesn't make you want to live in Manhattan? Uh I'm not a fan of huge cities, to be honest. I like, I like living in a big enough city that I feel like I, I have conveniences, you know? Like, I don't feel oh like I need to my. travel 20 minutes to get to a city that has the things that I'm looking for. Yeah, for sure. Uh, like, you know, people who kind of, like, live out in the country or in small towns. Um, but, like, I also don't like the overwhelming sense of being in a major city. Like, it's just too much. So, yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's fair. 
Like what they say with some uh, weather things, that's first fair and accurate. Oops. <laughs> what am I? Where? In? What's your ideal city? My ideal city is Situation? someplace in Ireland. You want to live in Ireland? I want to live in Ireland, yeah. I think Ireland would be a great little house. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I mean, I know you've been. Yeah, I mean, it was great there. It was just like here, except for Irish. I feel like Ireland, when I think of it, I feel like it's like the European version of New Zealand. I mean, that's kind of an interesting way of looking at it. Like, yeah, like in terms of like the landscape. Like, it's very, very pretty. Yeah. Ireland is great. Is that, for, like, is that being, like, you seriously want to go live in Ireland? Yeah. That'd be cool. It would be cool. I, I, I actually hit him with that. That was kind of impressive. Um, yeah, I would love to live in Ireland. I'd love to just hop over there, contribute to whatever I can. And uh, what? Is, what about Ireland? Like, well, is it just like the landscape? Is it the cold? I mean, I don't know anything about Ireland. Well, it's just kind of great. It's like super scenic and everything. Like, yeah. Everywhere you go is just kind of like great. There's a lot of history and stuff there too. And plus, the people are like so ambival ambivalent about what goes on in their life, it's just kind of great. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Yeah. And the Irish exit truly is a thing. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'd have a hard time communicating. I'm not great at, I went like... to a, um, while I was there, I was at, like, a, like, a little pub or something. Not a pub, but, like, a, um, it was a breakfast place. Okay. And... It was tiny, and there were these two business guys that were talking next to us, and, like, their conversation ended, and they're just like, whoop, time to leave. <laughs> they both got up and just left. I'm like, this is great. <laughs> Dude, that guy got shot by one of the other bad guys. Yeah, he did. For sure. Um, I can't, I feel like there's not a country that I want to live in. There's countries, though, that, like, if I had to live in another country, I would live in it. Really? Yeah. There's not any place that you're like, if I lived there, that'd be amazing. Um, I, not really. I feel like I... Australia is also another one. Australia would be kind of cool. But yeah, like, I just can't really feel like I would enjoy permanently staying in a different country. Yeah, that's fair. Not because I have, like, I, not because I dislike any countries. I just feel comfortable in America. I think part of it is the sense that, like, actually, I feel like the concept of being in other countries is, like, not... Just... <laughs> disorienting and like uncomfortable yeah i already really struggle i feel like a lot of times with like communicating like i hate talking to people yeah I, as an adult i've gotten much better but when i was younger like i was the type of kid that had to have my parents like order for me right at restaurants and like i always refused to call places or call things on my yeah. own like so being in a situation where i'm having to like communicate with people that i don't speak the language very well, I feel like would be yeah. kind of Well, terrifying. thankfully, like, Ireland, you don't have to really speak Irish. Most of the people there don't speak Irish. Yeah. Which is kind of sad, but, I mean, it's growing in popularity. That's good. Yeah, I feel like there's been, like, a resurgence of uh, communities trying to re uh, reassociate themselves with, like, past. With their actual, like, cultural language. Yeah. Yeah. And Irish is doing a good job because they're, like teaching it in, in schools and stuff so you have to take irish classes i think the two countries that i would go to would be like korea or japan really yeah there's a huge like language and cultural gap there though yeah but at this point it's not really like like i said it's not about like oh i would want to i i don't know i can't really think like i would want to go to england or australia i don't particularly like there's nothing about those countries that super interests me. So even though, like, they speak English, I feel like it doesn't really matter. There's nothing that interests you about Australia? I mean, I don't, I, I don't mean it in that way. It's just more of, like, in terms of wanting to go live there. Yeah. I just don't really find, like, Australia I mean, they have, they have Santa, but just a surfer. Because Christmas is during their summer. Yeah, that's so weird. That's one of the weird concepts I feel like people don't talk about very much. And their toilet goes the other way. Like, <laughs> the, like the fact that they their seasons are associated with completely different months. Yeah. Like, that's just so crazy, though. 
Because, like, most of the world lives in the Northern Hemisphere. So for, for most of the world, winter's in December. Like, that's just a thing. But for some countries, that is summer. And that just doesn't make any sense. I just feel like I never hear people talk about it very much online. Just how summers can be different? Or, like... Well, yeah, like, people just don't really seem no, to acknowledge the fact no, that, like, oh, hey, in I Australia, like summer is December. Yeah. I really don't like this guy at all. <laughs> this guy's awful. Die, please. <sighs> I did it. I feel it. like I'm not particularly explaining myself very well here. I think you're fine. I, saw, I, I feel like there's not very many countries that I would just not want to go to at all. Mostly countries I feel like are, are in particularly like dangerous situations. Would be like, and that's just because of the dangerous situations. Yeah. Not necessarily like their culture potentially. potentially. Or, yeah. Um, but like, the countries that interest me are like Korean and Japan. Right. Because they're interesting. Yeah. I like a lot of their... Uh, I like their Excuse culture, me. but I also like their uh, like a lot of the things that they have for entertainment. Things yeah. like anime and, and K-pop are just like things that I'm interested in. So that they're like, just culturally interesting. Yeah. yeah. Which is fine. I guess if you're into that. <laughs> I also really like uh, Japanese food. Yeah? Big fan of that sush? I like... Well, I guess it's I guess it's technically more online with like Chinese food, technically, but what? Like, cause I feel like, well, no, I like teriyaki chicken a lot. Yeah. But then a lot of other things I feel like are more Chinese, like orange chicken and things like that. Yeah, that's very. I guess I'm just more of like an East Asia kind of person. China also interests me as well, but I've never had the opportunity to really like. Explore Experience. yeah. Chinese culture. I feel like it'd be cool. I just feel like China is like definitely not a place to go if you're at all anxious about uh, like other people. Well, China, I feel like is a little bit like something that's like worries me about Korea is like they're very very big on um, like speaking respectfully to people that oh, are even for sure. or even slightly older than you. What the heck? As far as I understand. Huh. And then Japan has honor and effects, but they're a lot more lenient than Korea is. Like, Japan kind of goes by, like, you know, once we get to know each other and yeah. we're friends, you can drop the... It's like the, the French. You can drop the honor effects. But, like, Korea is, like, we've known each other for decades, but I'm, I'm two years older than you, so... <laughs> Refer to me as this, you know, kind of thing. Right. And that, like, it just worries you because it's like, you don't want to make a mistake. But yeah, I, I like the idea of traveling, but I feel like I couldn't bring myself to permanently live in another country unless I had a reason to. Because I feel comfortable in America. Excuse it's the me. culture that I'm that you're used accustomed to. to yeah, because yeah. I know that, like, because it's kind of a big thing about how, like, Americans stand out in other countries oh for sure it's because most americans are kind of dickish well i just think that like <sighs> i don't know we have our i don't it's kind of weird i don't know it's hard to explain how long is this episode i feel like we've been talking for days come on come on get <sighs> That was dumb. I'm not a fan. I don't like these guys. I've decided. I don't like you. I. D yeah, but Japanese food is good. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I wish I liked Japanese food more. Well, because it's not just sushi. I know it's not just like fish and stuff, but it's like it's a big part of it. Yeah, I don't know. I I like udon. Yeah. Um. That's teriyaki also good. chicken is delicious. I love rice. I feel like there's there's definitely like things that you can do to get around the fish. Yeah, I mean that's true. I just wanna I just wish that I was able to experience more. You know? Cause like my it just sucks that my tongue is like, no, nope, this isn't good. 
Yeah, I mean, well, I I say that that I love Japanese food. But I'm a surprisingly picky eater. Yeah. So. I don't know. There's just like certain Japanese foods that I really like. I love teriyaki chicken so much. Yeah. It's like one of my favorite foods. So it's like it's not that I like all kinds of Japanese food. It's just like there are certain Japanese foods that I just happen to really like. Like yeah. I like rice balls a lot. I like tonkatsu. That's good. Or really any katsu. Wow. Time for me to become a firefighter. Uh, do we want to do that in the next episode? Uh, yeah, let's do that. That'll be easy. I'm just gonna go on top of this building. And then we'll call it. Okay. <laughs> I did it. Okay, this Skip. was a great episode of me, I feel like, not explaining myself great at all. Oh, come on, Peter. Yep. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs>